The 4170 is a valve motor drive controller that has been designed specifically for open loop valve motor drive applications. 4170 is a quarter din size controller but we also have eighth din size valve motor drive controllers the P8170 and 16th DIN controllers P6170 available in the range. In this video we see the 4170 Plus, the P4170 Plus, which is the current valve motor drive controller, quarter DIN size controller, and underneath it is the N4170, which was the predecessor to the P4170. The N4170 was discontinued about 10 years ago. This video looks at the main differences between the older version, the N4170, and the current P4170 valve motor drive controller. The first thing to notice is the display. With the N4170, the display for measured variable and also for the set point was just one colour, it was red. On the um, present version, the P4170, we have an option for the display. Um, in this model we have the green display, lower display for the set point and the upper display as red. It's still possible to have red and red display but we find that most end users prefer to have the two colours as it's easy, easy for the operators to distinguish between the set point and the measured variable. I've taken the N4170 out of its housing and here we can see the internals of the controller. You notice on the N4170 there's a link jumper here. With the older controller it was necessarily to position a link jumper for a selection of the type of inputs that were required. Thermocouple, PC100, um, linear voltage or, or milliamp input signals. In the latest model, in the current model, P4170, there are no link jumpers. It's a jump, jumperless configuration for inputs. Also with the N4170, um, there were link jumpers for the type of outputs required. Again, this isn't required on the latest P4170 model. Looking here, you can see the link jumpers for the output and also on this board, the power supply unit board, you can see the output one. This is a the output from this controller is relay output, and the output on output one, this relay, is factory fitted. It's not a plug-in board. So if the relay fails, well, um, need a new controller. I've removed the P4170 from its housing. And the first thing you can see, uh, there are no link jumpers. It's jumperless configuration. Also here, the output relays are plug-in boards. Unlike the previous N4170, output 1 on the Plus series is a plug-in board. It's not a factory-built um, fixed board. With P4170, the option boards that are fitted inside the controller are auto-detected. In the older unit, the N4170, we had to enter a hardware definition code into the controller to specify which boards had been fitted. Programming and configuration of P4170 is much more user-friendly than with the N4170. With both controllers, programming is done by entering the configuration and setup modes. With P4170 there is an additional mode, the Info mode. Info mode shows details of the boards that have been fitted, the serial number and date of manufacture of the controller. This video has shown the main differences between the P4170, the current model, and its predecessor, the N4170 valve motor drive controllers. 
programming of the P4170 and the N4170 valve motor drive controllers through the configuration and setup menus are discussed in other videos. Thank you for watching.